Anna could count on the fingers of one hand the number of times she had ridden inside a carriage. Perhaps that explained one of the few memories she had of her infancy. The conveyance that drew up outside the doors of the orphanage early in the morning, two days after the letter came, and set every child dashing to the windows of the long dining room in which they were eating breakfast, was perhaps not the grandest of equipages, but some of the girls declared that it was just like Cinderella's coach. Even to Anna, who dreaded climbing into it, it looked far too impressive to be intended for her. She was not to travel alone, it seemed. When she was summoned to Miss Ford's sitting room, she was introduced to Miss Knox, a solid, grey-haired, large-bosomed woman of severe mien, who had Anna thinking of Amazons. Miss Knox had been engaged by Mr. Brumford to accompany Anna to London, since apparently it was not proper for a young lady to travel any great distance alone. It was the first Anna had heard of being a lady. She was very thankful for the company, however,